Hi, I'm Phil Regan. In some of our other videos, I've tried to make it real clear that bowling is all about fun. You don't have to be the best bowler in the world. You don't have to be a superstar. The, the main idea behind bowling, go down there, roll the ball down the lane, knock some pins down, have a good time. I'm standing next to Princess. Princess is a recreational bowler. She has fun when she bowls. Now, when I met Princess, she was taking what I refer to as the 30-step approach. She was standing by the vending machines and running up to the foul line with a bowling ball in her hand, and who knows what would happen. So I've been working with her on taking a little shorter approach and taking four steps. We're just gonna see what's hap what, what happens here. But again, remember, this is all about fun. She may roll the ball down the middle of the lane and get six strikes in a row. She may roll the ball in the gutter. The point is, we're having a good time and we're reviewing that four-step approach I like to talk about so much. So, here we go. Princess, let's do it. Come back up your rolling ball. All right. Better. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to work on the four-step approach. Simple enough. She's already decided where she's going to stand. So, I'm going to go through the mechanics of a four-step approach with Princess. It may be easy, it may be difficult. Whenever you're training your body to do something new, it can sometimes uh, cause a bit of a mix-up between your head and your body. So let's see what happens. All right. What we're going to do is a four-step approach. Now, pretend I'm your bowling ball. All right. Okay. I'm your bowling ball. You're holding that bowling ball in your hand. Right about here, anywhere it's comfortable. That's the point. She may want to hold it up here. She may hold it, want to hold it down here. It doesn't matter. Whatever is comfortable. She's going to take four steps. And she's going to start with her right foot because she's right-handed. She's going to take one step and push the ball out. So take one step. Boom. That's her first step. Now, on her second step, she's just going to let that ball swing just right to here. Right to here, no farther. Now, on your third step, the ball's going to go back. Yeah. Your fourth step is really a slide, so spin that knee and slide. That's your bowling. That's bowling. That's all there is to it. I've said this over and over again. It's, it's simple in concept. One, two, three, four. Knock all the pins down, sit down, have some fun. All right, let's walk through it without a bowling ball and without me. So it's going to be push and walk. So it's one. Yeah, two, yeah, three, beautiful. That's it, that's bowling, folks. Now the acid test. How about with a bowling ball in your hand? Just have fun, have fun, princess, have fun. All right, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's do that again. Good, good, no, that one, that's exactly what. You just did the hardest thing. It's going to get easier from here. Really, I promise you it will. It will get easier. We talked about targeting a couple of minutes ago. You could target these dots. You could target those. You could target the arrows. What I want you to target is the arrow right smack in the middle. All right, one, two, three, four. I want you to pretend that that arrow is, um, I don't know, someone you don't like. <laughs> okay, so you're going to roll that ball right towards that arrow. Forget about the pins. Something I want to tell bowlers, your job is not to knock down the pins. You can't knock down the pins. The ball knocks down the pins. Your job as a bowler is to give that ball a chance to do its job. And that's what we're teaching Princess here. The four-step approach, walking to the foul line smoothly, rolling the ball to a particular target. That's all you can do. Once that ball is out of your hand, it's out of your control. So our goal here is to get Princess to walk up to that foul line, roll the ball smoothly off her hand, the pins will fall down. Or they won't. We'll see what happens. Oh, look at this. She's getting it. She's getting it. Yeah. So what we're doing now is we're going to move Princess back on the approach a little bit. Give her a little room to slide. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful, yes. Beautiful. Now we're getting it. Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, 
Oh, look at Yeah, yes, yes. Beautiful. You did it. That was all you. That was all you. Very good. Very good. At first, it may be a little bit difficult. As I was saying to, to Princess a little earlier, you don't have to start way back there. And she really was starting about 17 or 18 feet back. But it's not easy to learn this stuff in five minutes. She's managed to learn it in about 10 minutes. So it's, it's very doable. She's smiling all the time, so I think she's having a good time. So the idea, again, like a broken record I am, have fun with it. You ready for another one? Do it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. She's done it again. Very good. Excellent. Excellent.